Hey guys! Freezing cold winters can be very harsh on our hair, leaving it dry, frizzy, and full of static. Just like extreme heat, extreme cold can have a negative effect on our hair. So in today's video, I'm going to share all my tips on how I keep my hair healthy and hydrated during the colder months. I like to think of the winter time as a time that I can really focus on caring for my hair, and then in the summertime, I can just let my hair down. So my biggest tip for protecting your hair during the winter months is preventing it from being exposed to the elements in the first place. When I go outside, I wear my hair in a protective hairstyle, like a braid, and then I just tuck it into my coat or under a scarf so it's not exposed to the cold air. And I usually wear a hat in the winter to protect my hair and keep me warm. However, a lot of materials that hats are made out of, like wool and acrylic, can rub on your hair and make it look really frizzy. So I always put a silk or satin cap on before my hat, so my hair is against a smooth material. And this is how I've been wearing my hat a lot during the winter. I just put my hair in a low, loose bun and secure it with a claw clip. And then I put on my silk cap. I'll actually link the cap I use down below because it's the best one I've found because it actually stays on my head. And then I put my hat over top of that to keep the heat in. You'll probably need a big hat like mine to hold all your hair in, or you can just leave the bottom of your hair down. And as you can see, my hair is totally protected. It's like a little cocoon for my hair. So that's just something I've been doing to protect my hair this winter, and I think it looks kind of cute, and my hair feels really nice when I take it out. So yeah, I sleep on a silk pillow at night, and use the silk cap under my hats, and my hair loves it. In the winter, it feels so great to take a steamy hot shower. However, hot water temperatures can suck the moisture out of your hair and make it more vulnerable to breakage. For me, this is the most difficult tip because I love taking hot showers, especially on a cold winter's day. So when I'm taking a shower in the winter time, I usually start off with it a bit hot just to kind of warm up, but then when I go to wash and condition my hair, I just turn the water down to warm. And if you dare, you can do a cool rinse after, and that actually just makes your hair look more shiny. And while we're on this subject of hair washing, I like to try and extend my hair washings in the winter. Your hair's natural oils help condition your hair, so you don't want to just strip that away by shampooing it all the time. Plus, the wintertime is the best time to do this because you can just wear a cute hat to cover up a bad hair day. And I have a whole video on my tips for extending hair washings, so I will leave that down below in the description because there's some great tips in there. And if you've washed your hair and have wet hair and need to go out somewhere, I would try to avoid going outside altogether until it's dry because wet hair can expand and freeze, causing a lot of breakage. Personally, although I don't like to use heat on my hair, I feel like it's better to gently blow dry your hair on low to medium heat rather than going out with wet hair. And I know it's a luxury, but I do love my Dyson blow dryer. It doesn't overheat, so it's supposed to be less damaging. I only blow dry my hair every once in a while, I think I've done it two or three times this winter. However, that being said, I highly recommend avoiding the use of heat tools like straighteners and curlers as much as you can throughout the entire year because that's going to damage your hair. It's also really important to condition your hair in the winter time. So I love using lots of nourishing oils in my hair. I like to leave a little bit of oil in my ends at all times because my ends get a bit dry. My Blue Beautifly Amalaki Scalp Oil Serum is a staple for me. And I love making do-it-yourself deep conditioning masks with things like avocados and honey. Just give your hair some extra love and care in the winter time. And during the colder months, we more than likely have the heat cranked up as well. So if your hair and skin are feeling the drying effects of indoor heating, it might be worth it to invest in a humidifier. A humidifier will add moisture to the air, which will help prevent dry hair and skin. I absolutely love my humidifier. I love this one in particular because you can put essential oils in it as well. 
And I also have this humidity tester so I can gauge how much humidity I need in the air. Hair also gets staticky during the cold winter months when it's dry. So I suggest switching out your plastic combs and brushes for wooden combs and brushes because plastic can cause static. And I don't know about you, but having staticky hair drives me nuts. It just makes me feel so gross. So those are my cold weather hair care tips. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for lots of hair photos and more. I'll link that down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the tips useful. I love you guys so much. Stay warm and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!